animals saved by humans. This is Mystery Mondays. Number 10. Two horses in Missouri would have drowned if not for the efforts of a couple of heroic fighter fighters. The horses fell through the ice of a private frozen lake as the owner looked on helplessly. The fire department was called as the animals were submerged in the icy waters, and rescuers arrived and used chainsaws that cut a path through the ice that allowed the horses to escape. After about an hour, they made it to dry land with only a few scrapes on the legs from the ordeal. And FYI, pet owners are warned never to risk their own lives should an animal fall through the ice. Contact the fire department before anyone even considers entering frozen waters. Number 9. Hundreds of turtle poachers in Tanzania routinely dig out turtle eggs that are used as food. But one such poacher had a change of heart and now works as a conservationist. Tabu Kanjari said the turtles had been part of his daily diet since childhood. But after attending a meeting sponsored by a charity called Sea Sense, Mr. Kanjari could see the animals were resources that should be protected. He now works for Sea Sense and patrols the beaches and helps the hatchlings reach the ocean. The baby turtles are virtually blind at birth and only three inches long when they emerge from the nest. Only one in 1,000 turtles reach adulthood due to their vulnerability and are easy prey for predators like crabs and mongooses. If they survive, the turtles could live up to 80 years old and weigh 700 pounds. Number 8. Sometimes you can be too curious for your own good. Five baby seals in the Australian state of Victoria found that out the hard way. The next became entangled in floating plastic ropes, which can cut into the animal's pelts and cause a slow and painful death from infection. Seals are known to be very curious creatures and will instinctively play with objects floating in the water, such as seaweed. But when they play with floating plastic or with ropes, the material can coil around the necks and they have no way to disentangle themselves. Rescue operations can be difficult because seals will escape into the water when humans try to approach them. Often, the only way to get close enough to a seal to rescue it is to first tranquilize the animal by shooting it with a dart. Number 7. A two-year-old black bear cub in Colorado somehow managed to get his head stuck inside a giant plastic container that's usually used for holding cheese balls. A bed and breakfast owner named Jim Hawkins spotted the animal in his back garden and saw it couldn't eat or drink. After several attempts to help it, Mr. Hawkins finally lassoed the animal's midsection with a rope in an effort to keep it there until officials could arrive. After some tussling, the bear ran up a tree. Once wildlife personnel arrived, they tranquilized the bear and cut the container off of its head with tin shears. Upon awakening, the bear ran off into the mountains, but is expected to survive. Number 6. In Manchester, UK, Shady the cat was taken to the vets for a routine checkup, but was found to have a complete heart blockage that put him at extreme risk of heart failure. But experts claim that a pacemaker could save the feline's life. While it's a common procedure for humans, it's rare in other creatures like dogs, and rarer still in cats due to their smaller size. A team of specialists had to access Shady's heart by way of his stomach and attached a special lead to the outer section of the muscle while it was still Beating. The lead is connected to a pacemaker. It detects when the animal's heart doesn't beat and fires off an electrical impulse. After recovering at home, Shady is expected to live a long and healthy life. Number 5. In 2014, a dog named Billy was spotted on a beach in Greece. He was so emaciated and riddled with scabies that he could barely walk. When a passerby took a picture and posted it to social media, it attracted the attention of a volunteer at an animal charity who was determined to find and rescue him. The volunteer, along with colleagues, did locate the dog and took him back to the shelter. They found that Billy also suffered from sarcoptic mange, and his emaciation was so severe that bones pierced his skin skin in places. The volunteers initially thought the veterinarian would advise putting the animal to sleep, but such was not the case. Instead, Billy was allowed to rest, and in only two months' time, he was nursed back to health, making a complete recovery. A household in Switzerland later adopted Billy, and that is where he makes his home today. Number 4. 
frozen ark. We've been talking about animals saved by humans. Now, here's a little twist on the theme, if you will. Did you know that scientists are actually setting up a type of Noah's Ark that is intended to save the DNA of endangered animals? The project is based in Nottingham, UK, and was launched around a decade ago. And it's a response to a threat researchers call the sixth mass extinction. That refers to a study claiming that animal species are vanishing 100 times faster than would normally be expected. So far, some 48,000 samples belonging to 5,000 species have been collected. The so-called frozen arc keeps DNA samples stored in a freezer at minus 80 degrees Celsius, while other samples are stored on cards at room temperature. Experts say the stored genetic material could be used for researching new drugs and even resurrecting certain species. Number three. Cats are known to climb trees, but how about water towers? One black cat somehow managed to reach the top of a converted water tower in LaSalle, Colorado, but Technical Rescue Systems, a company that trains climbers, arrived to save the day. Cats are known to sometimes jump from great heights when scared. Climbers managed to scale the tower, where they herded the small feline into a pet carrier, then lowered it to the ground to the applause of a small crowd gathered below. The animal was later taken to a veterinarian for a checkup. It's still unknown exactly how that cat was able to find its way to the top of the 85-foot tower. Number two. Josh Holm was walking through the woodlands of Gallatin National Park when he encountered a newborn moose that was barely able to walk. Mr. Holm also spotted the dead body of the calf's mother nearby, along with the body of a stillborn baby. After taking a selfie with the little moose, Mr. Holm contacted the Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Park Service, hoping to find the animal food and protection. Mr. Holm says that when the officials arrived, they seemed friendly enough, but upon handing the baby moose over to rangers, they shot it dead. They then proceeded to blow up the three animal bodies. While Mr. Holm and many others could not fathom the ranger's response, wildlife officials claim it's common practice in Montana. Destroying the baby moose was termed a mercy killing because without its mother, chances of its survival were slim. The bodies were blown up so that rotting carcasses wouldn't attract predators to the campgrounds. Number one. Operation Breakthrough. Did you know that back in 1988, a story of three trapped whales made international headlines and caused Cold War superpowers to work together to free them? In October of that year, California gray whales, frolicking in Arctic waters, sensed ice forming about them and began a migration south towards Mexico. But Inupiat Eskimos in Barrow Point, Alaska, noticed that three gray whales took turns emerging from the ice to come up for air. The trio were trapped in the ice and could not hold their breath long enough to swim five miles to the open waters. The Eskimos reported the whale's plight to a local whaling crew. The next three weeks saw a rescue mission called Operation Breakthrough unfold with the unlikeliest of allies, including the U.S. and the Soviet Union. Russian icebreakers eventually batted down the ice walls and the two adolescent whales finally swam to freedom. Baby was nowhere to be seen and was assumed to have perished while trapped.